Magandang araw po sa inyo. Welcome na naman po sa isa na namang episode ng online series ni Inang Pamantasan kung saan ang pagkatuto ay walang hangganan. Ito ang PNU Talks. Ako nga pala si Don King Evangelista at ako ang inyong learning from home body sa episode na ito. Ngayong araw, pag-uusapan natin kung how do we prepare and how do we execute research lessons in this time of pandemic. I-comment ang inyong mga katanungan at kuro-kuro tungkol sa ating episode ngayong araw. Huwag kalilimutang i-like at i-share ang ating episode ngayon. Ngayon ay pag-uusapan natin ang planning and executing research in this time of pandemic. Hello mga dear teachers, kamusta po kayo mga, ka- mga kapwa ko guro? Pwede po bang mag-comment down below po kayo kung kamusta na po kayo ngayong time ng pandemic from a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 10 being the most okay. Kamusta po kayo mga dear teachers? Sana po ay nasa mabuti po kayong kalagayan ngayon. Na I would I, I think that we will all agree that the school year has been very very tough. Tama ba mga kaguro? na itong, itong taong panuroan natin ngayon ay naging very, very tough para sa iyo at para sa akin, para sa ating mga administrators at para rin sa ating mga estudyante. This school year has been very unusual and has been very tough. Pero alam natin, lalo na sa mga guro ng siyensya, guro ng, ng agham, that science has goals. And according to the science education curriculum, ang goal po natin is scientific and technological literacy. Na, na ang ating mga estudyante ay dapat maging scientifically at technologically lit- literate. At paano mabubuo yon Through being a critical, creative problem solver, being responsible stewards of nature, being effective communicator, being an informed decision maker, and being an innovative and inventive thinker. All of which can be achieved through the use of research. Pero ang question ngayon, maaaring ng mga guro na maaaring naghahanda na para sa susunod na panuro ang taon o maaaring teacher ka ng science high school katulad ko at nahihirapan ka magturo ng research ngayon kasi hindi tayo makalabas, hindi tayo makagawa ng experiments na dati natin ginagawa. The question would be, how do we start doing research in this time of pandemic? How do we teach research now? And what technique can we use in teaching research? Naririto po ako ngayon para i-share sa inyo kung ano po ang ginawa ng Navotas National Science High School na teknik kung paano nagturo, paano namin itinuro ang asignaturang research. For our pedagogical approach, what we have used is what we call design thinking. Design thinking. Pwede po bang comment down below yan? Design thinking. That is the pedagogical approach that we have used in Navotas National Science High School as attested by the action research I will present to you. Because we believe that we have three essential questions that we always answer when we plan a lesson. Number one, what to teach in this time of pandemic? That's the question of competency. How to teach in this time of pandemic? That's the question of pedagogy. And what material shall we use in this time of pandemic, the question of learning resources. And every one of us will agree that in every research subject, whether it's a science high school subject of research, whether it's a senior high school subject of research, practical research one, practical research two, um, increased investigation, immersion, we all need to teach research ideation. Research ideation. How do we ideate a problem. How do we identify a problem? And I believe that every single research teacher, including me, has to teach research ideation. And actually, mahabang panahon ang binibigay ng mga research teacher kung paano ituro ang research ideation. Ngunit, nung face-to-face interaction pa po tayo, we as teachers, we guide them in formulating problems by either number one, giving them research priority areas, supplying them with the realities of the world, or giving them guide questions. However, in this time of pandemic, aminin po natin that this strategy will be heavy in consultation hours. 
which is almost impossible in this time of pandemic because of limited virtual hours for students and connectivity issues. Kaya naisip ng Navotas National Science High School through the leadership of our principal, Mr. Russell P. Samson, to use design thinking as an appropriate and effective learning material in teaching research ideation, and not just research ideation, but research itself as we utilize design thinking. Pero, teka lang, ano ba yung design thinking? Kanina pa natin binabanggit yung word na design thinking. And what really is design thinking? Design thinking is developed by IDEO in 1991. IDEO is a company, is an innovation company that specializes in giving um, improvements to life. So design thinking is a human-centric, solutions-based approach which undergoes different processes. And the first process is what we call empathizing. Empathizing. When we say that we empathize, we feel the problem. We feel the problem. Pinapakiramdaman natin kung ano ba yung problema. Tumitingin tayo using our five senses, using our emotional faculties, kung ano ba yung, na, 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 yung problema at the certain locality. That is very crucial now in this time of pandemic because our students are locked down in their homes. Hindi pa sila pwedeng lumabas. They cannot explore problems of outside and they need to explore the problems inside their communities, inside their homes. So they need to feel the problem. And we all know that when we feel the problem, if there is an emotional connection with us and the problem, mas nakaka-relate tayo. Mas na nagkaka nakakabigay tayo ng action, ng solution. And that's what that's the beauty of the design thinking process. Instead of just thinking of the problem, giving them um, guide questions, what if we let them feel where they are? Let them feel the problem. And after feeling the problem, and there are a lot of tools, there are empathy maps, there are graphic organizers for them to use to feel the problem. Now, they can define the problem. Because there would be a lot of problems. Marami pong problema. But we are not superhumans that can solve every little problem. We need to define the problem. And we need to form tentative solutions. That's ideation. And then we, we design and make the solution. And we test the solution before implementing it onwards. And that is the design thinking process. Sir, are you proposing a new model? Actually, no. Now, if we will look back into the action research cycle, it's almost the same vis-a-vis. -vis. The plan, act, observe, reflect cycle of the, the, of the action research interfaces smoothly with the design thinking approach. And shown here are the different steps that Navotas National Science High School under, uh, underwent so that we can have this materials and this pedagogical approach in teaching research. We revisited LR policies. We listened to students' feedback because we empathize with them. We streamlined competencies for science high schools. We have done landscape analysis of different researches in references in research ideation. We write modules, we quality assure them, and we planned on the execution of lesson. This is where the teamwork of the, te the teachers and the school head, the coordinators will, will intermingle. Because our principals, our school heads are not our enemies. They are our helpers. They, they can give valuable inputs in us to plan and to execute our lesson. And then we test. We teach the lesson design thinking for the first two weeks of the first quarter. And then we administer the worksheets and then we gain feedback from students. And then we reflect. We see the video lessons. We see the video recordings. And then we reflected after the implementation of the lesson. And I am humble enough to, to show to you the results of what our students have done. And the ease of teaching research 
even in this time of pandemic. We have developed modules following the LR standards set by the regional office. We have curated resources on design thinking as shown here. We have made activity sheets aligned with format of project assist as an innovation of SDO Navotas. That is the hard results. Here are some results. There is now a pedagogical shift from teacher-centered problem giving to student-directed problem formulation. From the outputs of our students, we can see student-student self-directed interaction because they are prompted by the worksheets. They gained empathy not because a teacher said that they need empathy, but they gained empathy because they had listened to their partner what their partner needs. There is also an extensive use of language strategies like frames and metacognitive strategies because we know that research ideation actually is just one part of the problem and writing research is another part of the problem. So we need to scaffold the learning. We need to shield instruction to our students. Kasi po, in reality, hindi porque science high school student magaling magsulat. Hindi porque nasa top section, cream of the crop. Magaling yan magsulat. Because it's one thing to ideate, it's another thing to write. So kailangan natin i-shield your instruction using language strategies such as frames and metacognitive strategies. Students are also doing self-reflection. We all know, dear teachers, that self-reflection, metacognition is the highest form of learning. And also, we have guided reading with self-reflection. Nakita po natin, here in the artifacts, that students really enjoyed reading journals regarding design thinking, and they have found different marginal notes. They have reflected upon the points. And through the, through the tools, like the reflection journal, they agreed and disagreed, and they had written their insights. And that's the highest form of learning. It's, it, it, it is where we step aside as the center, as the sage on the stage, and we move as guides to the sides. And as we have these anecdotal records and observation notes, we have on the first column, the potentials of design thinking for education as cited by Panke in 2019. Here are the actual student reflections and here are the observations during the online class. One of the potentials of design thinking for education is encouraging tacit experiences. And one of the students' reflection is this. We get our problems based on our own situation. And we see here that students are actively participating, sharing their experiences during empathy sessions, either in class or peer-to-peer -peer sessions. Sometimes po kasi nag-uusap sila through Messenger, through Discord, through whatever means, through calls. Also, there is an increase in empathy because I believe one thing to learn is the competencies. And it's another thing to learn the character. And empathy is a character that we need to instill to our students. Also, we promoted playful learning. We promoted creating flow or a verb. Student Y said, it is fun that we can get to talk to our classmates and they have a different perspective on what wallet should he have. They develop their listening skills by peer sharing and reflection. Students are really actively engaged in their task. There is also an inter- and meta-disciplinary collaboration and nurturing creative confidence. Student Z said, even if I'm not good in arts, I have drawn a wallet for my partner. There is a meta-disciplinary collaboration in arts now. It's not just science per se, it's meta-disciplinary. And we need to think of that as we go along with distance learning because we know that because of this pandemic, distance learning will not will not go. It will be a part of our education sector now. But the question is, are we ready to adapt to a multidisciplinary approach, to a more realistic approach in education? 
Another potential of design thinking is that we induce productive failure and increase resilience in our students. Student cases, sometimes my partner will have a hard time in connecting to the internet. But we find ways on how we can converse and continue our discussion. That students are very versatile in how they will converse either through Messenger or through Discord rooms, Gmeet, phone calls, as, as attested by their documentations. And there is now a movement from STEM to stream to stream. Now it's science, technology, reading, engineering, arts, and mathematics. It is now intertwined. STEM is not a creative subject as they said before, but we believe that because of STEM, we can create something. So there must be a move from STEM to STEAM to STREAM. And we can now do that using design thinking. That's one of the pedagogical ways that NAVSAI has done so that we can have this research mindset even in the time of pandemic. We know that it's hard. We know that it's hard learning now. We know that it's hard teaching now. But we can explore new things. And one thing is through design thinking. Another thing is through alternative classroom experiences through the implementation of Sparks 4. Before the pandemic, we had that what we call Sparks. Okay? We had three Sparks already. And it is just a project teaching proposal. And then it's face-to-face. -face. We invite experts to, to comment on that. But now, everything has changed. We, had, uh, we, we, we made it an alternative classroom experience. This is the poster of Sparks. You can, you can participate in our webinars. Okay? We have uh, still webinars for June 30 and July 3. Okay, about making effective presentations, about battling stress, fears, because we know that research deals with fears and anxieties, and also um, confidence and competence in doing virtual presentations. Now, now, this event is not run actually by teachers. This event is run by my students. Here are my proud students. I am proud of them because Almost all of the legwork is done by them, from poster to registration to evaluation to certificates to documentation and everything. They are run by my grade 10 students. Because I believe that in, in Sparks or in research, you don't, you don't just learn science skills, you also learn organization skills. Because that's what we can give to our students, that soft skills that they can, that, 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 that they can uh, treasure na pwede nilang baunin in the future. And we can see in these alternative learning experiences that are organized by my students that there is a positive impact in their colleagues, in their lower classmen from, for the participants in grade 9 and grade 8. For the first webinar session, with Dr. Leo Mendel Rosario, they learned a lot about design thinking and, and, and pitching, innovation, as attested by some of the reflections as shown in the screen. In the webinar session number two, with Coach Laika Maravilla, the, ed, the YouTube edu creator, they have learned a lot because they have empathized with Laika because Coach Laika is also a product of a science high school. So Coach Laika talk about scientific research tips, techniques, a wealth of information as said by one of, of the participants. We teachers have a lot of idea. We think that we need a position for us to make a difference in someone else's life. But I believe it's not. It's not. We don't need a position for us to make a difference in someone else's life. Today is a bright future ahead of us. Today we can make a difference in our students' life. So, dear teachers, sa lahat po nang nanonood ng TNU New Talks ngayon, let us not make our students give up on learning. Yes, times are hard. Yes, I believe that every one of us have struggles. I may be speaking in front of you 
Maybe you have heard of me as the brightest star by DOST. You have heard of me as the, oh, the science coordinator ng Navotas National Science High School. Nevertheless, I am not a perfect teacher. I am not a perfect person. I too have struggles. But as we are called to be teachers, let us not make our students give up on learning. Teach taught, teach taught catalog listed at least five things that we teachers do that makes our students give up on learning when we compare them to their peers, when their feedback is not personalized, when we do not celebrate their small victories, when they give them tasks beyond their zone of proximal development, and when, they when we limit their choices. Teachers, I believe that we are all called to be teachers. Let us not make our students give up on learning. We are in the position to make a difference in someone else's life. Now is the time that we don't aim for equality. Now is the time that we aim for equity in education. We provide opportunities for all to see, for opportunities for everyone to learn. Hindi lahat ng estudyante natin online class. Hindi lahat ng estudyante natin kayang magpaload. Hindi lahat ng estudyante natin kayang manood. But are we giving equal opportunities, equitable opportunities for all? Walang batang may iwan. Because maybe the future of the society may be on the lowest and in the least of our students. Lastly, let's gain empathy to our students. Students work well when they are listened to. Pero maybe you're asking, fourth quarter na, Sir DK. And maybe for some, no, tapos na yung, tapos na yung school year eh. Bakit lagi na lang bang sila? Paano na lang ba tayong mga teachers? Are you relating to that? Paano na lang ba nga ba tayong teachers? But I believe that if you are called to be a teacher, as according to Lansangan and Gonzales in 2020, the teachers of this pandemic are the following. We are hardworking and dedicated. We may be frightened, but we are ready. And we have an undisrupted desire to reach out to our learners. Alam ko lahat tayo may puso para sa ating mga estudyante. Yes, we are not superhumans, we are not unlimited, but if we cannot make a difference to all our students, we can make a difference in one of our students. Dr. Guidote of Ateneo de Manila, a great chemistry professor, said in his anecdotes, in his journal, given the situation, I have to accept the changes. In the new normal, I cannot be the same teacher that I was before. We cannot be the same. Certain parts in my teaching philosophy cannot be done without a face-to-face -face encounter with students. However, there are available technologies that can be used to still conduct effective teaching of concepts and even life skills. It will be different, but in the end, I am a teacher and I will teach to the best of my ability given the constraints of this COVID-19 pandemic has bestowed upon us. Surely there are lessons here that will make everyone a better person for self and for others. Mga kapwa ko, guru, alam ko, minsan malapit na tayong maubos. Minsan we are on the brink of breaking out and burn out. But if you are in the edge of quitting, remember your why. Why are we here? Why are we teaching? Why are we called for such a time as this? If you're thinking of me as the best student of PNU batch 2014 in BSCT, no. I am not the best student. I can show you my transcript of records. I got a 77 in calculus. I got a 75 in physical chemistry. I got an incomplete in my last semester, last subject. And I am very grateful for PNU. I am very grateful for Philippine Normal University. 
for teaching me not just competencies, for teaching me not just subjects, but life skills. Because what I have learned in PNU is this, that your failure is not final. I may fail in my subjects. I may fail in some of my subjects in my undergrad. I may fail in my work. Minsan may mga palpak talaga tayong mga desisyon sa buhay, but our failures are not final. We can still make a difference. Sabi nga, even a broken clock, even a broken clock is correct twice a day. How much more we as humans How much more we as teachers can make a difference? Yes, what we're doing is not perfect. Maybe may mga strategies ako na hindi applicable sa school nyo. Well and good, let's share notes. But your failure and my failure is not final. Lastly, I want to encourage you. Hindi tayo anak ni inang pamantasan para sumuko lang. Tayo'y lalaban lang. Lalaban tayo hindi para sa sarili natin because we are called hindi para sa sarili natin kundi para sa bata at para sa bayan. I am Don King O Evangelista. I am a teacher. Anak ako ni Inang Pamantasan at ako ay ginawa niyang guro para sa bayang ito. Sa muli, ako po si Don King O Evangelista at sumain niyo ang PNU Talks. Maraming salamat Pagpalaing po kayo ng poong may kapal.